Hello and welcome to the channel. My name is Jello and this is Over the Shoulder Gaming where we cover eShop sales, game reviews, and other gaming related content. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe if you haven't done so yet because I release around 3 to 4 videos per week so don't forget to hit that notification bell so you don't miss out whenever a new video drops. Don't forget to leave a like and share this video with a friend on whatever social media app you have. With all that said, here are my picks with what's on sale today on the Nintendo eShop. Let's get cracking! Blue Fire is back on sale again today with 40% off the regular price. Bring it down to its best price ever at $11.99. Now, Blue Fire received a lot of positive feedback in the time that it came out on February this year, I believe. And it was described as being a 3D Hollow Knight game blending action, platforming, and exploration all in one. Now, however, the gameplay did require the player to do a lot of backtracking that did feel unnecessary at times, but what it set out to do, it does pretty well. Now, Blue Fire has a download size of around 4.1 gigabytes, and you'll be getting around 10 to 15 hours of gameplay. So you can pick this one up once you do decide until August 12. Creature in the Well is once again on sale, rocking a 50% discount, bringing it down to only $7.49. Now, Creature in the Well is a top-down pinball-inspired hack-and-slash dungeon crawler from developer Flight School Studio. Now, this game is described as pinball with swords, where you charge up energy orbs and let them bounce around to activate dormant machinery needed to stop the standstorm that's happening in the game. It'll take you around 5 hours to beat this game as you go through 8 handcrafted dungeons, each with their own gameplay themes, unlockables, and secrets to uncover. And with a Metacritic score of 76, Creature in the Well is, well, worth checking out. Get it? Sparklight is also on sale, matching its previous sale price of $9.99 with a 60% discount. Now, Sparklight is an action-adventure game set in the ever-changing land of Geodea. Everything in the world of Geodea is held together with Sparklight, and an evil baron is just bent on mining the Sparklight core to fuel his war machines and conquer the world. The game is presented in a top-down pixel art aesthetic inspired by retro classics with a soundtrack that is GameCube inspired and created by that same guy who worked on the soundtrack of Wizard of Legend, I believe. Now with around 9 to 10 hours of gameplay and an excellent Metacritic score of 75, Sparklight is a game that should be on your radar. Darksiders Genesis is back on sale and it's on this list, rocking a 55% discount, presenting us with a price of $17.99. It is an action-adventure title that comes from publisher THQ Nordic. Now, this game is presented differently from previous Darksider games as this one gives us an isometric top-down view, pretty much like a Diablo game as compared to the previous games in the series that has a camera following you from behind. And this one also plays like one of the earlier PS2 God of War games, so that's actually a very nice thing. Now, this is a prequel of sorts where you can play as Strife, one of the horsemen of the apocalypse, or his brother War. You can play solo while switching between these two characters or better yet, let a friend join in to control the other character for some apocalyptic carnage. And one more thing, make sure you clear around 10 gigabytes of space on your SD card should you plan on picking this one up because that's how big it is. Bridge Strike is an arcade shoot 'em up where you control a jet fighter and your mission is to blow up as many bridges as you can, at least for the game's raid mode. 
because there's another mode that's simply called the campaign mode that has you completing various missions allowing you to increase your pilot rank where you collect coins and you get to buy new flying machines of destruction the view in this game is quite unique as you can see your targets below from your cockpit while at the same time you can also see the aircraft that you control from down there uh, if that makes sense and anyway, we just check it out in the trailer it's a simple game with a simple premise and a low price of only two bucks and bridge strike could be one of those cheap distractions that you're probably looking for Dandara Trials of Fear Edition is on sale right now for only $5.24. Now according to the blurb, Dandara is a unique 2D metroidvania platformer full of mystical creatures and boundless exploration. Defy gravity as you jump across floors, walls, and ceilings alike. Now being a metroidvania, you'll be able to reach previously unreachable areas as you earn power-ups, battle, and solve puzzles. Dandara has a Metacritic score of 73, which is decent, and it'll take you around 6 to 10 hours to beat this game depending on how skilled you are and how much you'd want to explore. Now, if you want to pick up this game, you have until August 5 to hurry up and do it. Lapis X Labyrinth is a loot-driven action platformer with RPG and roguelike elements that comes from publisher NIS America. In this game, you help a struggling town recover from bankruptcy in a time where adventuring just isn't profitable anymore. Now you get to assemble your group of four adventurers as you delve into varying areas to amass all the loot that your tiny pockets can carry. Eliminate enemies quickly enough and you'll enter fever mode, filling the screen with gem explosions, fireworks, and flashing lights like you won the jackpot at a casino or something. Now if these flashing lights are something that you'd like to try out and experience for yourself, Lapis X Labyrinth is on sale today for $9.99 and the sale runs until August 16. In Rays of the Light is a remake of a game that came out in 2012 called The Light. And according to the blurb, In Rays of the Light is an atmospheric parable about our place in this world, life and death. This is basically a walking simulator which begins with you as the character alone in a room inside what looks like an abandoned school of sorts and is set in a post-apocalyptic timeline. Now, this game gives us Walking Dead and Last of Us vibes as you explore the game's abandoned environments. The graphics and audio immerses you in the world that it creates and just don't expect the game to hold your hand and show you what to do next or where to go. It has a sale price of $5.59 currently and I do have a review of this game up in the card over here so check that out as well to help you decide. Urban Trial Tricky is an arcade racing game that has a strong emphasis on pulling off wicked tricks. Now, pull off freestyle, breakdance, and FMX moves that fits your play style to become the craziest trickster in the game. Now, the game offers over 30 levels of challenges presented in a super slick 60 frames per second. Now, this has a download size of 1.1 gigabytes and a decent replayability via the online leaderboards. And you can pick up Urban Trial Tricky today for a sale price of $10.49, although it's been lower before in price, but if you've missed it earlier during you know, the previous sales, it's still better the, than getting it at full price at this deal. Now closing up this list is a new game on the eShop right now and it's called Bark. Now Bark is a colorful shoot 'em up that stars cute and cuddly animals. You pick a pet and go up against the evil forces of Dark Tide. Now each member of Bark has an unlockable backstory and unique playstyle to match their personality like homing shots and floating options that follow you around. 
Now there are around 8 levels in the game, doesn't really take you long to beat actually, uh, playable in 3 different difficulty settings for every level of gamer. Now this is a really fun shmup with up to 4 players and I highly recommend this game. Now you can pick up Bark or B Ark whichever way you want to pronounce it, with an introductory price of $7.99 and the sale goes until August 5th. And those were my picks from today's sale on the Nintendo eShop. So which ones are you picking up and which ones do you already own? Let's talk about it in the comment section down below. Leave a like if you enjoyed this video and do subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so yet. And share this video with a friend that enjoys a good sale. Once again, thank you guys for watching. Stay safe and I'll see you all in the next one.